Anytime I get a break, a long break, I come here first always for like a week. I always try to see my family and friends here and like see what I could do for people. Pittsburgh Steelers running back Najee Harris doesn't have one place in the Bay Area he specifically calls home. However, there is one residence that celebrates his time living there. This right here, this is me in college. I just still can't believe it sometimes. People making stuff like that about me when I used to stay here. Usually people get this type of stuff when they pass away. I'm alive. The mural stretches across a building just north of Oakland and belongs to the Greater Richmond Interfaith Program, also known as GRIP. They provide shelter for the houseless. It was where Harris and his family lived for several months 12 years ago. It just brings me back home and just like always taking me back to times where I was in their shoes, like how hard it was for me to, to get by, but that's motivating too. If you'd told the Najee that lived at GRIP that you'd be now the face of an NFL franchise at 24 years old, what would you say to him? I mean, if you believe in yourself and you, tell, and, and you truly believe that you can do something or accomplish something, like, bro, like you, you don't need other people to say you can. I always believed in myself. Najee, when did you guys first experience not having a home? Young. Yeah. I'm moving so many places. My, my brothers and everybody was kind of like, just upset that we kept moving a lot. You had to get new friends, kind of, you know I mean? You keep starting over new places. I was getting in trouble too much. And my mom put me in football. I used to go to the field a lot, train by myself when I was young. Put a garbage bag over my, myself and start running. By the time he was a high school freshman, Harris says his family regularly encountered evictions and moved more than a dozen times. Little by little, people in Najee's football life noticed the signs of a young man facing challenges beyond the field. I remember what he ate before the football camp. Two Snicker bars, two bags of hot Cheetos, and Gatorade. I know everybody has their story, um, but a kid that knows how it feels to um, eat cereal with water, like that. I knew his situation definitely. Um, it was bigger than football for me. I caught on to it and I just asked him, I was like, what are you hiding? Najee kept his home life secrets guarded, but as a sophomore, his living arrangement became known by students when trainer Marcus Malu shared Harris's story at a strength and conditioning event. I remember he called me going, Ain't nobody, I don't want nobody to know. And I told him, I said, listen, sooner or later, you're gonna have to tell that story. Yeah, he, he didn't understand why, you know, because he wanted to, to kind of hide that from the world. And I told him, I said, that's what makes you special. This is Antioch High School right here. It's a new field. Here are all the records that I guess I broke. This is the ticket. This was the only way out. My coaches, I used to sleep at their house, and then they used to drop me off at the hotel. I hate people feeling sorry for me, sympathy. I hate it. Like I said, shelter, I hated it. So like, I would never tell people, and they would just still go out their way to help me out. As Harris learned to embrace his past, he began to pay that gratitude forward through his free youth football camp and improvements to the GRIP shelter, where he purchased computers, playground equipment, and other building upgrades. Grip did a lot. People helped me out that didn't even need to do it. They make it a lot and they still like gave me what the shirt they had on their back. It taught me a lot about people and just how I go about life. The floors need to get renovated, I think was like the number one thing in there. So I really want to do that. We got this in here. You know, it looks it looks nice though too, you know. I remember everything about the shelter. We seven people in a room like this, obviously it was like a little bit bigger. I could always just come back to here, think about, you know, the times that I was staying right here in his bed. I remember this one, cause it was like the last one. And I was at an age where I could like, I'm starting to realize, I guess, I should say I was starting to realize what was going on. What this place taught me, I held on that throughout my whole life. 
Every time I step on the field, I remember how I first started. Go! I'll tell kids, it's your decisions that's gonna change the way you live your life. And when they get in the position where they could provide, they could do the same thing for somebody else.